a bit of the intermediary generation, so to say. I mean, I'm too young for the original beginning of the series, and then I'm, I'm maybe a bit old for when it got into style again, so to say. So I'm I'm much more V and Galactica and those kind of things. So, uh, but I remember watching the reruns actually with my dad. But really, these are one of my earliest memories. So it's a long, long time ago. I remember especially watching like V and, and Battlestar Galactica that obviously, I mean, it's so fascinating. I must have been like 12 or something at the time. So you get into science, <laughs> you know, you start to be interested in space. Uh, and this is what we as organizers of this event hope to achieve by, uh, well, bringing the man that was most recently in space actually to the European Parliament and having people speak to them. Uh, what I like about EU40 and why I decided to be, become a member of their, of their board is that we are, this, this house is such a political house, obviously it's the European Parliament, so everything is divided according to political family. EU40 has another starting point. I mean, we're all relatively, not compared to these students, but we're relatively young members of the parliament and we try to take challenges and put them on the agenda that actually unite us across the political divide. Like, you know, we need more people into science. How are we going to do that? This is a challenge for me as a Christian Democrat, but it's also a challenge for my colleagues from the Liberal and the Socialist group. So um, what I like about EU40 is that it, it unites from a young perspective, but across the political divide.